So what you're looking at right now is one of War Thunder's bullies. This is the KV-1B. It is a vehicle that has pretty much been the mainstay of a lot of people's event lineups for a very long time within War Thunder just because it's extremely good. This thing has a ton of add-on armor to it, so it makes it better than the KV-1s. Really, the only downside to the KV-1B is the gun, you know, the F-32. It really doesn't have enough pin for like majority of the stuff that you face, but being able to go for different weak spots within a tank makes this thing extremely good. Now, there is a couple of things about this tank uh, that makes it better than the Russian one, like the KV-1E, is basically you don't have to see German guns. So you don't have to see stuff like the Panzer IV, you don't have to see stuff like the Dicker Max, Thug 3s, you don't have to see any of that because, well, guess what? You're German. So you're on their side, and the only thing that really can reliably pin you is stuff from like Sweden, stuff like the 76 from like a, from like an M10, and basically there's not much anything else, like the short 75 from Sherman's, it has a rough time going through this and since a lot of people just push this thing up like these weak spots from the front right here like the driver's hatch and as well as the turret ring kind of come irrelevant because you know basically they can't see exactly where to shoot them and since this thing's 4.0 a lot of players don't even know where to aim at and since you're all bushed up i mean they they kind of just you know don't know what to do because they're newer at the game so the thing is about this, I believe it should go up in BR. I'm surprised it's never went up whenever it comes to 4.0. For some reason though, if we go to arcade, it's 4.3. But if we go back to realistic battles, it's still 4.0. To me at least, I would rather see this thing go up to 4.3 to where at least it can be countered by stuff like, you know, 76s from Sherman's and as well as the T-3485. But there's things like the IS-1 that this thing physically cannot pin unless you go for like the engine deck whenever it comes to War Thunder. And that's one of the big problems War Thunder's had is just you have these heavy tanks that have really crappy guns, but they have a ton of armor. So whenever you push them down in BR so they can just pin everything, they basically just become unstoppable. We have stuff like the Celsius, you know, the KV-1B, KV-1E, and even stuff related to like the mouse, for example. If you push the mouse too down in BR, it can pin everything and it can bounce everything, but it's very hard to balance whenever it comes to War Thunder. And this is just one of these vehicles that's kind of hard to balance because you know, people usually use this in like event lineups where they just have like a ton of these things. They run backups on it. So whenever they die in their first one, they just go back in this thing and just, you know, get like 20 kills again. And it's something that I pretty much expect to happen with this thing because I played the KV-1E a lot, but I've never experienced the KV-1B. And even though I'm facing like German guns with the KV-1E, I still feel like, you know, it's a really good vehicle for the BR. So let's look at some gameplay of this thing and see what you guys think of the good old bully, the KV-1B. So what an interesting first game. So we're at least at 5.0 right now whenever it comes to the KV-1B since this is an up tier. But at the end of the day, like a lot of these tanks that you see, like that thing right there, the M4A-176, it can pin me, but I can pin it really easy as well because that thing, like from the front wise, it really doesn't have that much armor compared to some of the 75 tanks in the game. But stuff like the T-34s, stuff like, you know, the M4A-1 over there, they have a really, really rough time of just actually killing this thing whenever it comes to War Thunder. Yes. Hey, you want my machine gun too? We're just two homies sitting here waiting for me to reload. F to this uh, wonderful man here. Goodbye. That is so, that is so dumb. Oh man, I just survived like, I don't know, like two minutes of that dude shooting at me. And then like, he just like, oh, fair enough. On Avenger, the one thing that can like straight up kill me. Did, did it die? Or no, that's a, oh no, that's a, that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing too. Hang on. Run away. Shoot his track out so he gets more uh, repair time. Yep, rip, rip the homies. Goodbye Soviet thing. uncool thing about all of this right now is that my gunner loader and commander are all just red so they're just like incredibly annoying like turret rotation speed is like zero right now and reloads probably a little bit lower and then also the gunner just turn into anything so yeah remember this is an up tier technically to 5-0 we're still doing extremely well here nothing to really complain about by the way, guys, this is like literally the first game. So if you like these types of videos, remember to like and sub to the channel. It is very much appreciated. And also, 
what type of vehicles do you want to see played? Because this week is going to be this thing, KV1B on Monday, and then hopefully on Friday it should be the Term 3, which is going to be pretty interesting play since I've never played it. All right, so this is where the KV1B shines. This is a down tier, basically, and we should see a lot of things that don't really have enough armor to even stop this round. Which, I mean, it only has, like, what, 88 at 10 meters? I mean, it's not the best round in the world. I guess it's shortcoming of this tank is the round is just trash. But the armor and just knowing weak spots of all these tanks make it to where this round, you know, can be usable, and this tank is really good. So it is, I wouldn't really say it's a noob vehicle. Like, I don't think you could bring this thing out and do extremely well with it if, like, you're very, very new at the game. But I do think... If, like, you've been playing the game for, like, you know, one or two years and, you know, the Sherman weak spots, you know, the T-3045 weak spots, all that sort of stuff, you can easily make this thing do wonderful things. Oh, it's a little Stewart. Go away. Get that guy out of the way. Got to thin the needle with this one. There we go. Oh, it's a uh, 105. There we go. Funny enough, that thing finally got moved up in BR, but this thing, no. It, it stays at 4 0 still. Is it premium bias? Who knows? Oh, hello. There's another Sherman. Oh, another 105. Rip. The 105s are a little bit interesting because, uh, yeah, they have enough armor to stop this round, but. My space arm and majority of the time would just work against them. So yeah, like at the end of the day with this thing, like the, one of the biggest complaints that I've had so far playing this thing is that you face a ton of Russian teams, which are the exact same tank as you. And considering that, you know, the weak point of this thing is just a gun, like you have a lot of issues with actually just killing other KV-1s because, well, you don't have enough pin. And even when you do have enough pin, you go through for like weak spots and everything you sometimes have to like two or three shot them because of just how many how much crew this thing has this thing has like five crew so unless like even if you get a turret shot and you kill all three in a turret you still have two you know the driver and then also i believe it's like the machine gunner or whatever so it would be pretty harder to you know actually just like one shot this thing so i don't know i kind of feel like facing panzer fours is a little bit easier in like the kv1e which is just this thing but you know a russian version of it so yeah i'm not really sure how i feel about that it feels kind of odd to be honest oh who's gonna shoot me now here, you want some? Oh, it's that thing. How did that not pen? How'd you not pen? You know, it's an easy day in War Thunder whenever you see a Chaffee because, like, pretty much anything can pin them. And there's just, it's just small enough to where, like, APHE would just, like, nuke everything inside it. Good old Sherman gone. Little bit of Stewart. Huh? Whatever, War Thunder. China bias on that one. I told you it wasn't worth going after. I'm so sorry, little Impton. It's all my fault. Every bit of it. See, this is the thing I just don't like. I just don't like them having to face a bunch of these guys 
is just very annoying. Because they're also going to be bushed up because they know, like, the strengths of their tank. It's just like we're, we're kind of just battling at this point. See, and it's taking multiple hits. Ah, he turned too much. Put another one in there like that. The driver's hatch is kind of hard to even go through. I understand fully the pain. I really do of this KV-1B. Especially whenever you just find any of these Russian heavy tanks just like bushed up like this. It's very, very hard to like pinpoint weak spots. It is. I got, it just is. See, there's a weak spot on front of him right here, but the problem is, is that like, you can't pin it unless you know exactly where it's at. This is the problem. Like, I fully understand. But yeah, I fully understand, man. You know, you have you have like these like IS, you know, KV ones, they're just bushed up to all hell. And yeah, it's super hard to just, you know, pin them. New coming about. Look, can we please quit playing Track Me Thunder, please? That's you. Oh man, it's another Russian heavy. At least this one should be pretty easy to kill. Oh, you got my gun. Wow. What a what a wonderful thing. Yes. Yes, cover me. Cover me, heavy tank. No! You gotta cover me. 